Hey guys, how's it going? So today I snuck out to my parents garden to do a little bit of garden work. So I'm going to be planting a few bulbs. I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup where the bulbs are going and then I'm going to be doing some watering. So fall is a really busy time for my parents. They go to a lot of different buying shows so they're gone a lot. Like I think they go on five or six trips every single fall. They just got back from their last one and they were kind of going through their whole list of everything they wanted to get done. And I just thought it would be fun to sneak out here and get some of it done. So I think there's only two or 300 bulbs, which at this point seems like a small amount. I thought I could at least check that one off the list as well as just a little bit of cleanup around where the bulbs are. So let me show you what I've got going on. Okay, so there's the pile of stuff. I do have my gloves here. Uh, and then I brought my kneeling pad and my bulb fertilizer and some repels all to put where I'm planting the bulbs to repel the squirrels. I've got a couple different size augers because I couldn't remember how big the bulbs were that I'm going to be planting today. Brought my clippers. I had to go get this out of their potting shed. Uh, and then these are the bulbs, all of which I have planted in my own yard. Um, so these are the Purissima Blondes right here. I actually planted these in my yard because my parents already have some of these here and they are so beautiful. I'm going to be planting some brownie tulips and some labella pox. And this right here is the first area. So you can see that this bed needs a little bit of cleanup. There are big guacamole hostas in here and they kind of create a swoop. So there's one here, here, and you can kind of see the crowns of the plants right here. Um, so hostas should be cleaned up in the fall. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and then we're going to plant the uh, brownie tulips in a big drift right here. It's actually kind of fun working in somebody else's space. It doesn't feel quite as much like work somehow. Um, so I'm going to be planting these bulbs, these brownie tulips. Well, actually, all of them are tulips. So they'll all go about five or six inches deep. I'll be using my two inch by seven inch, two inch diameter by seven inch auger to aug all the holes. Uh, anyway, so I'm just going to get after the cleaning and planting and then we'll kind of take a look at the spot. All right, I got them all placed. This little part right here is for my mom's benefit <laughs> so she can watch this video back and know exactly how I planted them. There you go, mom. They're all in the ground, so now I'm going to put a layer of the repels all down to keep the squirrels out of it. All right, the first area is done. Let me show you the second spot. I've already got all my stuff over here. So this is the area kind of from the lantern all the way around back over here to this viburnum, I think is what that is. Yeah, it is. It's got some viburnum berries on it. We planted some autumn frost hostas here. There's five of them a couple years ago and they've done beautifully, but I need to clean out this space just a little bit so I can see what else is here. And then we are going to plant the labelle epoch tulips in this spot.
right, this section is done. Got the tulips planted and the repels all spread. So let's head to the third section. I saved this next section for last because it's the most open and I think it's gonna be the most easy to plant. So we've got this area right here with the Arborvita spirals. This entrance leads into the swimming pool area and these bump outs are usually planted with bulbs and annuals. So what I'm gonna do is I've got the Purissima blondes here, which I think will be a beautiful bright pop in this area. And I'm gonna do 40 on each side. And we're going to do them, I think right behind this first drip tube. So that's kind of my line. And then they'll probably come in with annuals in the front area to kind of front plant them. This area is done, got 40 in per side, which was a little bit of a stretch. I had to spread them a little bit further than I like to. I could have done with maybe 10 or 20 more per cut out there or bump out, uh, but I think it's gonna be gorgeous either way. Okay, the last thing I wanted to do was a little bit of watering, and it's a little bit of an update too on the containers that my parents um, had built for their driveway. So let me show you what they look like now. They look a little bit different than they did this summer. So there's a spruce lollipop in each one of the containers now. Um, and there will be greens and stuff for the holidays. Red Point Maples have lost almost all their leaves, but you might remember this summer, there was Purple Fountain Grass and Supertunia Vista Snowdrift, which is a, a brand new Supertunia for this next year. And they performed beautifully, were gorgeous. There are 14 of these containers. So they start way down there and they go all the way to the end there. So their irrigation system has been blown out as well. And these containers, are looking a little bit parched. Um, so it's a kind of a chore to bring water out here. We've got the side-by-side -side out um, with some buckets of water and I'm just gonna drive along and get these all watered. So there's the side-by-side -side and the first container right there. And so the back is just full of buckets of water. I can do about five at a time before I need to go back and refill all the buckets. watered but I'm gonna go back through and just make sure I didn't create any like channels in the soil here make them look nice and pretty I think that was the first time they were actually hand watered since these spruces were planted because the drip was on when they were planted all right they all look good so they're all watered all the soil has been kind of fixed on the top where I messed it up from too much water flow coming out of those buckets um, but it always feels good to get things watered in this time of year. I don't know why. It just feels like you're setting it up for a really good winter. Well, that is it for today's video. I wish we had more time to do more projects out here and we may find ourselves back out here uh, once or twice this fall to help out. So we'll make sure to capture those things if we do. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye.